and a weather go from the 1600 meter marker. Rabbi Otter's on the inside. Hamsa Grove, the green cap, first one to poke out. Count to Bucks is right there. Her rear's moving around them. Guadeloupe, Hey Delilah, Alphonse Baby's in a good early striking position. Then we drop back to Bell Jaw, mid division. The pace is decent. Arabiata slips through onto the fence, seven lengths off the tempo. Silver Dazzle follows her through. Ariana Spinner, the rider, is looking across, trying to get in. Then we have got the red cap of more than a dime. Shake Storm three quarters of the way back with Sacred Blues. And in jest is the trailer and about 13 lengths off this leader. The white blinkers of her rear has it by two. Count to Bucks is racing back in that second position. Guadalupe's around them coming down to the 700. Hamsa Grove, Hey Delilah, Rabiata. Then we've got Ariana Spinner on the outside, Alphonse Baby, Shake Storm, Silver Dazzle tucked up to the inside. In Jest has been hooked right around them, the white cap. Homeward bound, 400 metres left to go. Haria the one to get a hold of. Count to Bucks, the red cap now makes a move to the outside. In Jest is looking to run on. Hamsa Grove on the inside. Count to Bucks coming to the 200 metre marker. Gets away by two lengths. In Jest is now starting to run on. Towards the inside, Arabiata. Count to Bucks now needs the line. Arabiata is coming strongly to get them all on the inside. And Arabiata got a shake storm right up there in the Closing stages, bell jar, minor positions, very close. Count to bucks looking for minor spots. So the last 100 metres, count to bucks gets claimed by a rabiata. Sacred Blues is staying on. Bell jaw up the outside, shake storm. But number one, a rabiata gets up to beat shake storm. Third position, let's look at that. Very close. Bell jaw. Inje, Sacred Blues on the inside, count to bucks. There's only a neck separating the second to seventh runner. So coming to the 300 meter marker, count to bucks, went a length clear. But three off the left hand side, a rabiata starts to run on. Ingest is extreme outside. Bell Jar staying on. Shake Storm. But as they come to the line, number one, Arabiata at 2 Rand 90 will deliver. Another favourite to come through. Back to the studio. Well, it's a double for trainer Dean Kanamea. Well done to the owner, Mr. Khrabia, and uh, to the breeder as well, Keegan DeMello. A double for him and uh, this daughter of Pomodoro, Dean. Uh, she's had some very good post-maiden form and uh, overdue for that second win. Yeah, no, she's a game for the last one. It was also a very, very good run. She slipped through to win, got caught on the line. And uh, today she was travelling well, you know, drawn one, got in a beautiful position and uh, slipped through on the inside. To me, it didn't look like she was going to get beat on the inside there. But, um, you know, last one was good. And so, well done to Fred Krabia. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I build up to the Gold Cup. So, it's, it's, it's a nice start uh, to win a race today for him. And, um, and to, to Emma and, and the whole team. Yeah, it was nice. She's, she's, a, she's a real gutsy, genuine filly. Well, give our best to the winning connections. But before you leave, Dean, uh, you mentioned a, a nice build up to the Gold Cup. And uh, for... The followers of It's My Turn, uh, all systems go. How your horse doing? Doing exceptionally well. Came through his July run very, very well. And, uh, you know, and hopefully uh, he's an eight year old, but he's, you know, he walks around the ring like he's, you know, like he's a three year old. And uh, you could see that when he walked around the ring in the July. But he's pulled up sound, he's moving, touch with his sound, he's moving well. And, uh, and hopefully we can put it together, you know. You need a lot of luck in the running of the Gold Cup and get pretty rough in that race. But he's, he's, you know, he's earned his stripes and he's, he's a horse to come back after two years and do this again after what he's been through. It's, uh, it's a marvellous horse. Uh, that's what I want to compliment you about, Dean, to yourself and the team. And, of course, Mr. Khrabia as well for allowing you the time. You've just done a splendid job bringing him back. Yeah, I tell you, you know, he went, he came back and then he went to Jane's Farm, fine racing, the uh, rehabilitation there, then came back into the yard. We built him up, and uh, which I said in previous interviews, the horses. I mean, he's got a, he must have a heart of the size of a lion, you know, and, and those type of injuries, you've just got to, you've got to handle the kid gloves and, you know, and just hope that everything goes well, but uh, touch wood, everything's going fine. Thanks for that, Dean. Nice double today. Thank you. Thanks, Dean. Well done, Dean Kanamea. Let's get Keegan to Mellerman. Well done, Keegan. A good double and uh, just showed the way you rode this horse today, what 
a big plus and an advantage it is to be drawn pole position. Yeah, 100%. Um, it leaves you with a lot of options and I'm, I'm very fortunate that she, she does a lot of things right in a race. She jumps out the gates and um, she pretty much tells you where she wants to be. And um, I must say, I was never under pressure in the race. She was always traveling quite nicely. And uh, when, I went, when I got into straight, I, I said a matter of how far and then I didn't see the horse on the outside. And so, so. Yeah, but uh, once she, she pinned her ears down and got, got her mind on the job, she, she won really nicely. Just full credit to Mr. Kenamaya. Thank you very much to him and his team. And obviously to Mr. Crabby, nice to ride him another winner. Stable's looking bright, looking good. Horses are running well. Yes, like I've said before, I'm just very blessed to, to work with such a professional outfit. And um, the horses are doing exceptionally well back at home. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just blessed to be in a position where I can ride them. Good double thus far. Thank you very much. Well done, uh, Keegan DeMello. And then the winning groom is Tabo, receiving his 1,000 rand from Gold Circle and Hollywood Bets. 1, 7, 5 and 14, the official result, race 6.